Kotaku so gassed on Game Pass. Xbox put them on blast. Can the subscription model really last? This is a super long topic. What I saw was that Kotaku mentioned on, I think it was Twitter, that they were like burnt out on Game Pass or something. Interesting. Um, and then and then Xbox just like flamed them, saying something along the lines of like, "Tell me you only ever play AAA games without telling me you only ever play AAA games." Um, and oh, I think that's okay. the whole story. And then the notes are like an entire page long. Um, but it says, can the subscription model really last? I, I think yes. Honestly, everyone that I've talked to about the Xbox Game Pass for a long time has been very happy with it. Um, and I think we're in one of those situations where everyone's going to be really happy with it because companies can be very aggressive on pricing and availability. Yeah. And then once everyone switches over to not buying games and just being on subscription models, then we're going to have too many subscription models and they're going to cost too much. Um, the yep. same thing that's happening with video streaming services right now. It's I think we're going to go now. through the same it's thing. It's basically freaking oh, it's cable. Terrible. It's cable now. Yeah. And there's all these people putting their their yeah. pirate hats back on. Um and and I think we're going to we're going to go down the same path. But right now in this exact moment, things like I would I would probably say especially Game Pass in my opinion I think Game Pass is probably the best one. Um oh, but it's an Game extremely kind of strong value. Yeah, Game Pass is insane. Like the the value proposition on it is nuts. But and the then value proposition in of Netflix was nuts when it was seven dollars too. And how long did exactly. that last? A, a fair amount of time. But yeah, it's completely gone. Uh, and I, I strongly believe we're going to be going down the same path. Um, but yeah, Kotaku's point was just like stupid. And honestly, Xbox was probably right. Um, they probably just play like new AAA titles and. There aren't a ton hitting right now because it's not the time of the year that they usually hit really hard. Um, but but yeah, I know there's there's not a ton going on right now yeah. for for new large AAA titles, which is probably why you're bored of Game Pass if well, all you yeah, play is new large it's AAA late titles. May. Fair but here's an alternate it's, perspective. It never happens. Mike Rose of indie developer No More Robots claimed that Game Pass is guaranteeing success for dozens of devs every single month by paying them their, their entire dev costs and then some on day one. He went on to explain <clears throat> that normally you launch a game, it costs X to make, and you hope that your game plus marketing was good enough to make X back so you can start making a profit. If you're on Game Pass at launch, it's likely you've just instantly made X on launch day. That's that's incredible. I mean, that's what that's what we wanted for this model was to have more predictability to your income as a game developer because we've seen that that feast and famine just chew up and spit out studio after studio after studio. And some of them folded, some of them got acquired, but the story is ultimately the same, that as they scaled yeah. up the ambition of their projects, they reached a point where risk. they just, yeah, where the risk was just too high and they couldn't keep going. So, yeah. Yeah. Game Pass. Very cool. Yeah, so I, I, I don't have a, like a huge amount else to say about this topic. I just I saw that tweet, too, and I kind of laughed at it as well, because it's like there's just so many games on Game Pass that there's just like no way that unless unless you have that like fatigue that people get with things like Steam or if they own like 500 games, they're like, I have nothing to play. There's like at least 50 games that, you know, they'd be excited to play, but they don't want to scroll through the entire list and like look into each one and actually remember why they were why they bought whatever they bought or why they wanted to play it or maybe they got it in a pack of like 10 things from humble bundles 10 years ago and they don't know that it's actually good or whatever else um but there are so many things in xbox game pass then that unless literally all you do 16 hours a day is try to play through every single game in your game pass library and even then i don't know i feel like you wouldn't have made it all the way through <laughs> Like yeah, there's I an insane amount of content. If you're in not there. finding anything to play in Game Pass, you might not be opening. You might not be broadening your horizons enough. Try something yeah. new. You might like it. Yeah. You might hate it. But hey, you didn't pay anything for it. It's Game Pass. That's that's yeah, the beauty just of it. Try and something else if you. To hate be it. clear, like I'm, I'm saying I, you know, I'm supporting Game Pass. I like, I, I love the idea. I actually don't have a subscription to Game Pass. Um, you actually what? I don't have a subscription. Me neither. Yeah, but it's really great. I mean, I like to I like to buy games on sale and then play them at my leisure. I like to own my library of content, but I consider that a luxury. That is it's an utterly unnecessary yes. luxury. I I have friends that have Game Pass and I have recommended Game Pass to some of those friends and I have recommended Game Pass publicly before. Um the reason why I don't have it is cuz 
I, I will recommend it because it's just a very good deal. And if you're trying to be economic about things and all yeah, that type savvy. of stuff, which a lot of people should, then it probably makes a lot of sense to to go with it. Um, the reason why I don't is because I'm trying to lean more on my my stuff, which is where I, I buy like as many physical copies of, of games basically as as possible. Nerd. As long as it's not Nerd. like Nerd. you know you know when they switched PC games to like you go buy it in the store and you get a box and inside there's a With sticker the that's the code. Yep. That's stupid. I don't care about that. I'm not buying those. Um but like for Switch I buy as many physical games as possible. For PC yep. I, I buy it. as many like buy it one time, own it forever games as possible. Um and, but that's that's a personal thing. So that's up to other people to decide how they want to deal with that. Thanks for watching and thanks to DreamHost for sponsoring this week's clips. DreamHost offers premium WordPress websites and hosting at affordable prices with free, award-winning 24-7 customer support. Check out DreamHost's current deals using the link below.